secretary in town to talk money matters will let you hear what she says about the state's financial status. The Arthurist sees more prescription fraud, what addicts are doing to get their fixes, what pharmacists are doing to try to stop them. Thank you for your time and your trust in Gordon Boy. I'm Natasha Williams. First at six, revisiting history. 63 years after his murder galvanized the civil rights movement, Justice Department is reopening the case of Emmett Till. Till was 14 years old, down from Chicago to visit family in Mississippi when he was beaten, lynched, tied to a cotton gin fan and dropped in a creek, allegedly after whistling and grabbing a white woman, Carolyn Bryant. His mother ordered an open casket at his funeral so the world could see what had been done to her son. A jury acquitted Bryant's husband and another man of killing Till, but the pair later sold their story to Look Magazine, admitting they did it. State Senator David Jordan says he was 18 years old when he attended the trial in Sumner, Mississippi, 63 years ago. Um, an, an oasis, a, a, almost a perfect place, if she works together. This ought to bring us closer together rather than trying to reignite the situation. Someone said, well, let bygones be bygones. If that were the case, then history would be necessary. So we have to <laughs> tell history as it was. Officially, the feds closed the case 11 years ago, but in a book released last year, Carolyn Bryant reportedly admitted that she lied about the whole thing. The FBI won't say whether that's the new information that led to their reopening the case. Both men acquitted of that murder have since died. A construction worker has died on the job in Monroe. Washita Parish deputies called the bridge under construction on U.S. Highway 80 East about 10 this morning. The worker dead when they got there. Reportedly fell from the bridge. His name not being released until family is notified. A full investigation is underway. America's opioid epidemic has made pharmacies targets for robbery and fraud. Three cases this month in the Twin Cities of fake or forged prescriptions. NBC 10's Randy Ayala on the steps that many druggists have found that they have to take. Hey, Randy. Hey, Gordon and Natasha. There have been multiple arrests for prescription fraud, some even trying to get meds with a stolen prescription pad. Pharmacists are taking steps to stop it, but what lengths do some addicts go to get their hands on these pills? People are dying every day from drug overdoses. The CDC says overdoses in the U.S. have tripled over the last two decades. Experts say it doesn't take long for a person to become hooked. Three to five days, the body could de develop a dependency on opioid medication. Dr. Phillips works with the Northeast Delta Human Services Authority. She says those struggling with addiction will do whatever it takes to get their hands on these medications. Purposefully breaking an arm or a leg or having a car accident, which will then get them into an emergency room. Pharmacist Sarah Barham at Community Pharmacy in Monroe says after multiple break-ins, they added extra security measures. Roll-up doors cover all entrances. She believes the crime is directly related to the opioid epidemic. They were looking for drugs that they could have, you know, street value. Another safety precaution the pharmacy takes is this. It's a computerized safe where they house all of their controlled substances. It will count the prescription. You can take a picture of the pills. Louisiana state law mandates a prescription monitoring program. The database aims to prevent people from doctor shopping. Looking for um, another physician who does not know their history. Dr. Phillips says it's vital we educate people, making them aware there's other ways to deal with pain. Introduce other types of therapy, such as uh, massage therapy, physical therapy. For more information, you can head on over to our website, myarklamist.com. In the studio, Randy Ayala, NBC 10, your local news leader. Thanks a lot, Randy. Lawmakers haven't made up all the money Louisiana stands to lose this year, even though their third special session delivered a last-minute compromise. But changes in tax rules have spared schools, college tuition aid, and many other programs the most serious pain. Temporary 1% sales tax brought in about a billion dollars. The compromise, a 0.45% tax, would bring about half that. But Louisiana's revenue secretary tells local officials that eliminating the federal tax deduction will make up a lot of the difference. Without that change with the federal tax decrease, the state is seeing an additional $300 million in revenue coming from the individual income tax. That $300 million in additional revenue will be in place through the end of 2025. 
Secretary Kimberly Robinson was speaking at the chamber luncheon at the Monroe Civic Center today. Things have disappeared in three El Dorado neighborhoods. Some owner, owners say way too much, way too frequently. This time, a few bikes were stolen. NBC 10 Sheriff Cobbs caught up with a mother who says her son not only lost his bike, but her family has had several other things stolen as well. A carefree day at the park with family is how Monique White likes to spend her summer. But lately, she has become concerned about her neighborhood. She says recent thefts at her home has stolen her joy. Because it's been happening like daylight. Our living room is right through where they were stealing everything. They've lived in Country Club Terrace for three years. They've lost scooters, a lawnmower, food from their outside freezer, and their son's bike. For Christmas, he'd just gotten a new bike. And we happened to have a camera up, and somebody just walked right underneath my carport and hopped on the back and rode off, which we never got that back. And it's happened not once, but twice. Two weeks ago was his birthday, and he got a new bike for his birthday. And two days after we brought it home, um, some kids came and stole it. Police are well aware, making a post on Facebook saying they caught several juveniles with brand new bikes back in June. Young people love to get out and ride bicycles. And uh, we certainly love to see people out riding bicycles, but they, they need to take some uh, safety conscious uh, considerations when they get through for the evening. Don't leave your bicycle lying in the front yard. Uh, you know, try to put it out of sight. And they say you should try to protect all belongings. Try to remember to lock your, lock your cars. If you have purses or valuable items, put them in the trunk of your car. If you're out late at night, Keep an eye out for your neighbors. But for Monique, she says it's still a bit unnerving to feel like her property isn't safe in her own home. But from now on, she will be taking steps to keep her family's property safe. Sheriff Cobbs, NBC 10, your local news leader. El Dorado police have had a few incidents in the Country Club Terrace area, but say that it's not a, quote, problem area. They say most of the thefts come from people just leaving their doors unlocked and belongings out in the open. Crimes of opportunity. Absolutely. An update on migrant children ahead, those separated from their parents after being caught at the border. We'll explain more on efforts to reuni reunite them with their parents as the immigrant crisis continues. It gets heated on the hill. We're going to let you hear the exchange during FBI agent Peter Strzok's testimony before Congress. A little more sunshine today, a little less in the way of rainfall, and it looks as though that trend continues for at least the next couple of days. But look at the forecast as NBC 10 News at 6 continues. For the latest information on how we are working to bring new jobs to our area, watch Top of Louisiana from the North Louisiana Economic Partnership, Friday on NBC 10 News, brought to you by Origin Bank. Advantage Health Plan, we're always on the go. That's why we can get our news from the Fox 14 NBC 10 mobile news app. Download the app today to get faster news updates and breaking news alerts. Best of all, it's free. Brought to you by Advantage Health Plan. Summer is heating up, and so are the deals on Cub Cadet at Yard Power in Monroe. For a limited time, get 10% off all Cub Cadet zero-turn mowers. That's up to $300 off on the RZT line, up to $500 off on the Z-Force line, and up to $1,000 off on the Pro-Z line. Get 10% off all Cub Cadet zero-turn mowers. This deal is hot and will not last long, so come by and check out these savings and more at Yard Power, your local Cub Cadet superstore, Highway 165 North in Monroe. There's a reason Jilly's Heating and Cooling has been voted best of the Delta for the last five consecutive years. Because when the weather heats up, Jilly's Heating and Cooling is there to cool things down. Now when you purchase qualifying Linux home comfort systems, receive up to $1,500 rebates or up to 60 months interest-free financing. Let your independent Linux dealer for North Louisiana be the first choice in all your heating and cooling needs. Jilly's Heating and Cooling. Will Show over here at Sparks Nissan and Kia with another lineup of great deals. All these for $199 down and $199 a month. Like this 2017 Nissan Citroen, only 6,000 miles. How about this 2011 Chevrolet Impala? We also have a 2016 Ford Focus with leather and a moonroof and a certified pre-owned 2016 Nissan Versa. All these deals for $199 down and $199 a month. Hot deals start with Sparks Nissan and Kia, I-20 and 165 in Monroe. Let's go to the Expo, July 20th at the West Monroe Convention Center. NBC 10 News at 6 continues. Fireworks.
works. On Capitol Hill for FBI agent Peter Strzok's testimony before Congress. For the first time in public, he answered questions and forcefully defended his actions in the Hillary Clinton email and Russia investigations. Strzok asked about a text message exchange with former FBI lawyer Lisa Page. Page writing, Trump's not ever going to become president, right? Right? Strzok, no, no, he's not. We'll stop it. It is not my understanding that he kicked me off because of any bias, that it was done based on the appearance. I don't appreciate what was originally said being changed. I don't give a damn what you appreciate, Agent Strzok. I don't appreciate having an FBI agent with an unprecedented level of animus working on two major investigations during 2016. In June, an inspector general's report had criticized Agent Strzok and Page for conduct that, quote, showed doubt about the FBI's handling of those investigations. Lisa Page is expected to testify tomorrow. The Department of Homeland Security says it has reunited 57 young migrant children with their families. A federal judge having ordered DHS to reunite all children under five with relatives by this week. But NBC10's Mark Meredith reports the status of thousands of older migrant children remains unclear. I'm very worried uh, about the numbers. I'm not sure they're accurate. New Mexico Senator Tom Udall says Congress needs more proof. The Trump administration has fully complied with a court order to reunite the youngest migrant children with their parents. Homeland Security reports that of the 103 kids under the age of five once in its custody, 57 are now back with their parents. Health and Human Services Secretary Alex Azar says the others could not be returned to the adults who brought them here, some for their own safety. We save kids' lives by keeping them from being with some really evil people, some of them, or keeping them with people who are not their parents. But for some others, the rest of the family has already been deported. But Senate Democrats aren't buying it. They want Azar to explain in testimony to the Senate Judiciary Committee. I find this to be a disaster. I find it unacceptable. There's no transparency. Udall says he remains worried about the thousands of migrant children between 5 and 18 years old that remain in HHS's care. In Washington, I'm Mark Merrill. I prefer to think of this time as bracing ourselves for even worse to come. Yep. See <laughs> so that August on the calendar. Maybe I kept a straight face almost when I said it. Yeah. Uh -huh.